Venn diagrams are great tools for sorting numbers based on their divisibility. Here we have six numbers that we are going to sort based on their divisibility by three and their divisibility by five. Before I begin putting numbers into my Venn diagram, I'm going to make a small organizer to the left. Now, using this organizer, I am going to begin to place numbers into my Venn diagram. The number 6 is divisible by 3, but it is not divisible by 5, so it's going to go into this section of the Venn diagram. The number 8 is not divisible by 3 and not divisible by 5, so it is going to go on the outside of my Venn diagram. The number 10 is not divisible by 3, but it is divisible by 5, so it is going to go into this section of my Venn diagram. The number 15 is divisible by both 3 and 5, so I am going to put that into the center section of my diagram. The number 18 is divisible by 3, but not 5, so it will go in the same section as the 6. And finally, 25 is not divisible by 3, but it is divisible by 5, so it goes in the same section as the number 10. Venn diagrams can also be used for sorting by three divisibility rules. Here I've added divisibility by 2. All we need to do here is extend our organizer to cover divisibility by 2. First, let's look at the number 6. 6 is divisible by both 3 and 2, so it's going to go in this section here. 8 is divisible by 2 and nothing else, so it goes here. 10 is divisible by both 5 and 2, so we're going to put it in this overlap section. 15 is divisible by 3 and 5, so it's going to go in this overlap section. And 18 is divisible by 3 and 2, so it's going to go in this overlapped section right here. Twenty-five is divisible by only five, so we are going to put that right here. Carroll diagrams are another useful tool for sorting numbers based on their divisibility. Again, I have my organizer for divisibility based on three and five, and let's start with six. 6 is divisible by 3, but not divisible by 5, so we're going to put it here. Divisible by 3, but not 5. 8 is not divisible by 3, and not divisible by 5, so we're going to put it right here. 10 is not divisible by 3, but it is divisible by 5. We're going to put it right here. 15 is divisible by both 3 and 5. So it will go in this section of our Carroll diagram. 18 is divisible by 3, but not 5. So it will be in the same section as 6. And finally, 25 is not divisible by 3 but it is divisible by 5, so it will be in the same section as 10. Thanks for watching.